when you're talking about when you're using reflexive pronouns, uh, the main examples would be myself and yourself. The giver and receiver of the action are the same person. So I would say I talk to myself, but you would not say that you talk to myself. You would say that you talk to me. So when you did your uh, promotion for yesterday's show, you said, join, I think Niz, join, join the one true Niz and myself. That was incorrect. You should have said, and join me because so you, other people would be joining you. You were tr- terrified so, by that. I, I, I have always hated that irregardless of what you, Oh my gosh. Justice warriors say Are you, you just said irregardless. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh! I know I did. It was you did that on purpose, didn't you? Yes, I did. Wow! Might as well be a word now. Wow! <laughs> what did you say, Bodhi? It might as well be a word now. Yeah, abs- You know, actually, because Re- you know, regardless of the dictionary, I, I I think it has made into the dictionary, which is part of the it's evidence of the race to the bottom. I think. I, I think <laughs> what it, the definition is, irregardless, the word that morons use to say. Regardless, when they're trying to sign sound high, highfalutin, exactly, I exactly. I, I think uh, people misuse the reflexive pronouns because they're trying to sound more intelligent rather than saying, "Hey, you should talk to me." They will say, "You should talk to myself." So the rule is, it, are, are the, you, the are giver you and the receiver are the to same sound person. More intelligent than I am. So you, so you would say, "You talk to me, but I talk to myself. I talk to you, but you talk to yourself." It's really not that hard. I'm not a grammar Nazi. I'm just alt right. W R I T E. W R I T E. Yeah, you wanna you wanna clarify that, but still I got that little brief snippet. Alt right. Where you say I well, I'm not gonna say it. Oh wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Loop that, we Bodie. That, cut that we out. We have that ever. We could put up an article and we could have do an stuff. You know what? We could do a ten hour loop of it. <laughs> Godwin and a bunch of grammar Nazis were sitting around talking about reflexive pronouns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it'll just be 10 hours of you saying, I am. Yeah. That's... Voltrog, I'm not going to need a remix. It. What did Voltrog say? No, I said we're going to need a remix. Oh, Voltrog. That's going to need a whole musical to it, really. That's going to need a whole musical backdrop. I see like 12 songs in that and a big finish. Some sort of big alt, finish. Alt, 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 alt. Right. Right, 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 right. That would be Voltrog right there. Have you heard Voltrog? Do you know Voltrog? No. He's our he's our brocuz. He does musics and we take his music and since he doesn't have IPs, he doesn't say anything. He just cries. I don't take credit for his music, but I just use his music and I don't pay him. IPs, do you mean imaginary property? Yeah, <laughs> yep. exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, I say we get dick- to our story. I say we get to the main, even though, okay, so the way it worked was I, I kind of get the show page and everything situated. I pick the stories, and I like to have everything done by like 1230-ish. Because of my work schedule, usually the time that I can devote to iState is usually like from the morning till like 1.00. And then thereafter, I do work that I actually get paid for. So I try to get all my show pages and everything done and all the images for the shows. And I did all that. And uh, we were planning in his Daily Tuesday show because Lou said, can't make it because Mr. Uh, can I say who's visiting you? Is that top uh, secret? I, I guess so. Mr. Mr. Scott Bowers? Mr. Yes, he's supposed to, he was supposed to be here today, but he, he stopped off at a little brewery in Mackinac City and, and he, uh, around lunchtime and had to get a room for the night. <laughs> yeah. Took a, took a turn in Mackinac City and I decided what I was going to do. A yeah, few people don't get that reference. Bodie didn't get that reference, which is... No, that's fine. That's just well, sad. After you destroyed the song, I could see why people wouldn't get it. I so anyway... It Hi, hi. I'm about to put something in the chat, and if you can find a way to to incorporate this into the show as like background music or something like that, what chat? That would be great. Hey, that would be for Bodie. Yes, definitely. This this is some good stuff. Oh, the Badger. Yeah. Are you what familiar is, with what this? Is the Badger. I am. Hey, there's a. Oh, 
Oh, oh, and uh, Voltrock said Echo is gone. Greeks come out tonight. Geeks come out tonight. I don't see what you posted. Where is it? Is that on the is that on the Facebook or or what? Where you is just, it? You just sent it on um, Skype. No, I'm talking about the, oh, oh the, the Skype chat. Oh, okay. Oh, Skype chat. I don't even use Skype chat. Oh, this is I the. Just, can I you play that, Bodie? You guys can't hear it, can you? I can't hear anything. I can't, I can't hear anything. It's not working, then. It's, it's supposed to go right through. But... It's not working. It's like, you oh, know what I think it is? I, I, I think that what we're experiencing here is this is like Koch Brothers kind of level conspiracy, Soros kind of level conspiracy. Because I think everybody knows that we plan on talking about this next story, which I think we should get to. Yeah, we should get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. The world's smartest man turns into potato on Reddit. I wrote, I wrote a whole thing up, and I don't know if we'll go over any of it or not, but let's just get to what he said. Well, let's get to the question and then get to what he said. And I wrote a whole funny thing up, so you know, check out the show notes, which I should probably share in the D Live chat, huh? Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, read it because it sounds better coming from me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Have you thought about the possibility of technological unemployment where we develop automated processes that ultimately cause large unemployment by performing jobs faster and or cheaper than people can perform them? Some compare this thought to the thoughts of the Luddites, whose revolt was caused in part by perceived technological unemployment over 100 years ago. In particular, do you foresee a world where people work less because so much work is automated? Do you think people will always either find work or manufacture more work to be done? So that that's the question that somebody asked on a Reddit Ask Me Anything, and they were asking the world's smartest man, Stephen Hawking, who is now dead, who died a few days ago, and what he did. Not he isn't. <laughs> yeah, the the yeah. world's smartest man. Yeah, he went from smartest to derp. Although, I don't know. I don't know that he didn't have some derpage in him, like, before he hit full derp. We all hit full derp when when the dirt goes over the head, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Um, He's going to answer. Okay, so... If machines produce everything we need, the outcome will depend on how things are done distributed he said that everyone can enjoy a life of luxurious leisure if the machine produced wealth is shared he said that or most people can end up miserably poor if the machine owners successfully lobby against wealth redistribution he said so that. far trend seems to be towards the second option with technology driving ever increasing inequality he said that come on lou where did he go wrong he Oh, gosh. He went full <laughs> russet. <laughs> yes, he went full russet. I like russet. He is way. French fry. <laughs> now, yeah. I, I will say this. Uh, advances in people do work less because of advances in technology. Uh, you no longer have 90 plus percent of the population working in agriculture because of modern machinery to you know such as tractors and stuff like that and they're not using the rickety hand tools anymore therefore there's less less labor is required to go into the fields and 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 cultivate food uh it's also decreased the number of back injuries and everything else uh sorry osha but no credit for to you for that because people are no longer doing this back breaking work they have machines that will do it for them uh that labor was freed up to go out and work into the other industries. And as the technological advances in there came about, uh, those other industries became possible and they were also able to expand. And as the further advances came along, people no longer had to work such long hours. So yes, he is correct that advances in technological, uh, uh, technological advancements have made it easier for people to work less. And, with fewer injuries and more leisure time. Yes. So he is correct in that regard. Now, this notion that techno technology would go so far as to eliminate all employment, 
Mm, I think that's kind of a stretch, and maybe in a few thousand years it's a possibility. Well, who's going to be- build the robots? Yeah. Robots. Well, I hope hopefully there'll, there'll be a time where, where Cyberdyne Industries has robots building robots. But who builds the robots that build the robots? Other Who's robots. But then... Uh, no, yeah, that's it. That's the end of it right there. Oh, well, that's... that's Okay, so you have robots that build the robots that build the robots, and then you have robots that build the robots that build the robots, and then between those robots, you got it all covered. I don't know as how long many as, robots are building as as, what. As long as you have robots that build robots, that's all you need. I know, yeah. but it's much more fun to go through that uh, useless, uh, you know, infinite circle regress. jerk. Yeah, infinite regress but, for no real reason. Mental masturbation is not really a thought exercise. Sorry, not sorry. I didn't say it was a thought exercise. Just said it felt good. How oh. do you think he got those guns? How do you think I got these guns, man? Got these we got guns. It's marching in the street for those guns. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Eating, eating their Tide Pods for energy. Hey, do you guys know how to brachiate? How to what? How to brachiate? Oh, well, Mr. Reflexive Pronoun doesn't know what brachiate means? Ah, oh, ha, ha. Oh, you've been exposed. You've been exposed. Bodie, how about you? You guys don't know what brachiate is. Brachiate yeah. is when gorillas walk and they kind of drag their knuckles on the ground. That's called brachiating. There you go. New word. You're welcome. Wow. I, I don't know if I'll ever use that in for the rest I've of my life. I've used it often. <laughs> <laughs> I just usually refer to those people as knuckle draggers. I don't have I don't feel the the need to use a word that's not in common usage. So I just, anyway. I just usually call them voters. That's Paul's a poet. Paul's a poet. He has a thing with words where he needs to find the most useless word and make it <laughs> the topic. Yeah. I, I love words, go su- man. Go suck a long fellow. I, w- I never mind. I won't, that that has some meaning to it that could be inappropriate and my wife would not approve. So I love this story. I'm so glad that you picked it, Bodie. This is a story that's like almost three years old, but it's <laughs> it it gives all of us small minded people hope. <laughs> All of us tiny little, you know, our 120 IQs, 130 IQs, 140 IQs, you know. Not everybody can have an IQ of 200, right? I mean, I met someone recently that had an IQ of 200. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, he made a, uh, what was it? Uh, never mind, I won't say it. I've said too much. I don't want to reveal the genius. But <laughs> it's nice to see somebody like Stephen talking who who pretty much invented creation, okay? This guy's <laughs> like that smart, okay? <laughs> it's it's a wonderful thing to see him go full potato. Actually, oh man, I'm not going to be able to play this. Oh, can you pl- you can't play it. Ah, oh, I had this whole thing set up. You guys, it's uh this is the dumbest answer I've ever heard. That's what I was going to play. I was going to play from Billy Madison. When he says, you know what, you guys, can you hear this? Uh, from the Mental what Magic Decathlon, I think can, it was. Can you hear this? Is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. No, I don't hear it. You, nope. What you have no said is one of the most insane, in rambling, idiotic things I've ever heard. Response, your rambling, you even close incoherent response. Your rambling, incoherent response. I can't even hear you, Paul. Okay. I think, oh, because I think never mind. Thinking. Dang it. It's, it's the rambling, incoherent response, Billy Madison game show clip. Look it up and insert it. Right, right after you read Stephen Hawking's response for yourself, play the video. And I actually embedded the video in the article for your entertainment, because, <laughs> because I, I, I mean, for me personally, I find it a joyful thing that you know the smartest man in the world could go full potato. Pretty, yeah. pretty awesome. And he, he might be really good with physics or whatever it is that he does, but he obviously doesn't know anything about economics. Uh, he has absolutely no idea about economic calculation and how the how these resources would be distributed. So it's more like pie in the sky uh, dreaming here. And it's really interesting because if if you were to tell him that the earth is flat, he would tell you to show your work. And everything else, but he does not show his work in explaining how economic calculation would happen. Now, to be fair, he was just answering a question on Reddit. 
but still, show your work, dude. Right, right, Bodie? How is his grammar? Did he misuse the reflexive pronoun? Let me go see. Bodie, you read it. I got to tell you, I, I, I really hate that. That And that's one of the, that's one of the grammar you, faux pas out there that... You do realize well, what you've just done. It really makes me cringe. No, no, no. You do realize what you've just done. Told you I, how to trigger me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just, I see memes in your future with your face on them saying things. <laughs> Especially when you're talking to myself. Bro, yeah, absolutely. When you're talking to myself and, and Bodie, that's that's <laughs> kind of what's going to happen right there. Blocked. Blocked. <laughs> Blocked. Unfriended. Unfollowed. Yeah. Uh, so Blocked, I, I don't... unblocked, and then unfriended and blocked. <laughs> and then reported. You got well blocked, unblocked, unfriended, blocked, unblocked, reported, blocked. That's the way you do it. That's what I yeah. do. That's how I do well, it every I, single time. If you block, if you block and unblock someone, you can't block them again for a while. Forty-eight hours. Yes. Wow. You know, you were like quick with that. That's interesting. Uh, it is interesting. That it's is, my job I mean, to have had... that sort of information. <laughs> So could you could you share with me some of the experiences that led you to this exact discovery? Who me? No, no, Lou. He got it done in forty eight oh, hours right away. What'd you what would you say I wasn't paying attention? I was looking at a meme. <laughs> you were looking at me. You were lo- Lou Lou has a thing Aww, for me. It's a little weird. How cute. So oh. it's a cat in a dishwasher. And, oh. it's, and it's got this look like you're not really gonna run this thing with me in it. That's so precious. I'm I'm so happy about that. No, uh, how how did you know forty eight hours? I mean, you like came up with that like oh, I had some experience. I had blocked somebody and then I had unblocked them to see something, and then I went to reblock them, and it says you have to wait forty eight hours. And it, it it I didn't block them for any malicious reasons. It's uh, how could I put it? Uh, it? It's it was somebody that I know from like the from real life and everything else. Was it Dave Painter? No, 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 <laughs> no. I no, I I just ignore him, and and when I when I do encounter him, I point and laugh like the imbecile that he can be. Oh, I love Dave. Dave's awesome. Bodie, you're a Dave Dave Painter fan, right? I was a Dave fan, and then I unfollowed him. Uh, I haven't I, I, used to, him. I used to really dig him before he went full uh, russet French fry hawking. Oh yeah, he, yeah. Well, he went a little orange, not not full orange, but like a little orange burnish, and he's still a little orange burnish. But he's like, I think his thing is now, you know, if uh, if you see like if Donald Trump, you know, if he audits the Fed, then he's a real guy. Other than that, he's just a puppet. I'm like because we can trust them to audit the Fed. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same people that point at internal affairs and, and say, "Oh, oh, yeah, they 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 investigated themselves and found nothing wrong." Think that the government is going to audit the Fed and find that uh, there was nothing wrong, and and they're going to say, "Oh, but but the Fed's not federal. It's as federal as Federal Express." So the government, it, the government that does benefit by getting all that money created out of thin air so that they could buy votes and sell favors and all sort of stuff, they're going to investigate and they're going to cut their own throats and, and get rid of all their power. Well, it's no, a private a institution. Ducks, you morons. It's even a private if they institution. Found something, even if they found something wrong, they could still fix it. Well, if the Fed is as evil as some people think, it is. I, evil. I, I, let, let, let's say it, it, no, 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 no. Hold though. on, hold on. I just want to say it's evil. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. All right. Well, I right, let's just say that all the conspiracy theories and everything else, uh, you know, the lizard people run it and they killed JFK to to stop him from. I don't know who or what, or they killed Lincoln because he had the green bags and they killed somebody else for some other reason, you know, the, because the bankers are so evil. If they're, fr- if they're as evil as people claim that they are, or even if they're a fraction is evil, do you really think they're going to let an investigation go and, 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 and topple their empire? Do you think they're going to say, Oh shit, the jig's up people voted. So I guess we got to quit being, you know, bad guys. No, no, probably not. 
they're, they're not going to let that happen. No. And even if they weren't evil, they're still not. It's still not going to happen because they're all freaking lazy. What do you mean? They're not going to. They wouldn't go through the. They, even if they were trying to do the right thing, they would botch it. They would screw up the whole thing. Ten thousand pages. Can we look at just like two thousand and say we did all of them? Yeah, let's do that. What Holy are you crap, looking at? The numbers aren't 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 matching. This is going to cost us a whole lot of extra work. You know what? Oh, we could just add a zero. Are you are you there, Bodie? I'm not following. Never mind. <laughs> and then the <laughs> other the other thing is you know end the Fed. That's another one. End the Fed. Not going to happen. Well, no. even if they ended the Fed, how long would it be before it'd be like you'd ended the Federal Reserve? Yay! Now we're going to start this new thing. It's called the called... Edrol Reserve. <laughs> no, no, they're they're going to they're going to return power back to the Congress to uh, be in charge of be in charge of the money supply again. So that means people like Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi are going to be in charge. And no, they're not going to go back to a gold standard. It's going to be the greenbackers again, and they're going to destroy the currency just as quickly as the greenbacks were uh, uh, went straight to hell during the war for northern. Uh, war of Northern Aggression, uh, just like the uh, Confederate greenbacks or whatever they were calling it, just like the Continental. You know, the whole phrase "not where the Continental" came ar- came about because they they came up with that fiat currency rather than the hard currency, and and they did their legal tender laws for it and said, "Oh, don't worry, we're only going to print a little bit of this, and then we'll we'll you know we'll we'll pay you back in in specie." And they blew the shit out of the currency and. So after after it became worthless, the phrase "not worth a continental" came about. Yeah. So, so what if we get it? rid of the Federal Reserve, we're just going to end up with Parliament. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, probably some form of greenbackerism. So, it's and the green be the bad. greenbackers are socialists. Hmm. How so? That, that makes sense. How are they socialists? Uh, because it's a. Uh, what you call it, a, a, a state ownership or state monopoly of the means of production, in this case, uh, the currency, and it's centrally planned and controlled by the government. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, all government is some degree socialism. Well, Yes. Yeah. All. Big government, big socialism. Small government, small socialism. No government, no socialism. But the I mean, the whole greenbacker thing, uh, I don't know how much you've studied about it. It's it, it's haven't. really a mess. I I'm not I'm not up on my greenbackers. Are you, Bodie? No. Okay. Well, the the, the thing about the the thing about the Federal Reserve, uh, and and central banks like that, uh, I, I hate to give them credit, but they have an incentive to keep the scam going as long as humanly possible. So if you look at the 100-year history of the Fed and what has happened during that time, uh, it's for the most part, it's been a slow decline. There, there have been times where you had some heavy-duty inflation in there, uh, starting with like the Vietnam era and the, and, the, and the Great Society, and it really went wild during the, during the uh, uh, Carter and Reagan years. Well, also Nixon, too. But anyway, um, it really went wild in, in – uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Volcker was the Fed secretary during that time, Paul and he Volcker. said, "Okay, we got to calm this stuff down." So rather than being a Alan Greenspan or Ben Bernanke type that says, "No, no, we got to stimulate and, and and low interest rates and QE, and, one, and, two, and build three, the bubble," you know, uh, Volcker actually raised interest rates and and uh, calmed things down a little bit, basically reduced the inflation, and it, it caused a lot of it cost a fair amount of havoc, eh, havoc in the economy. I'm very tired, by the way. Uh, it, it caused a fair amount of havoc in the economy, but it was necessary to get the malinvestment and all the crap out of the, out of the economy so that it could uh, get healthy again. Myself and Bodie applaud your diligence in working through your, your soporific state. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... So anyway, you, uh, but the Fed, because because their power, their livelihood rests upon the scam continuing, they have an incentive to uh, 
loot and squeeze as much as they possibly can out of it. Uh, where with Congress, they, you know, they're, they're busy selling favors so they can either get the next election or get that rainmaker position after their time in office is over. Oh yeah. Cause, cause when their time is over, it's going to rain. It's going to rain greenback. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't think that their, that their speeches are really worth $35,000 and up do you. Of course not. No, no. no. We understand what they're doing, and you know that's, yeah. that's the clever way that they can pay for favors. They're paying for access, is essentially what what they're paying for. Mm-hmm. When, so when mean, we, it's like it's like yeah. steam it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's a, like steam it's it. not on a blockchain though. <laughs> yeah, but the block. blockchain it, instead of it's the voting block. Well, yeah, but in this case, it's well. I guess it's a voting block. It's a voting block of the oligarchs, but still, it's a freaking blo- voting block, right? Right. But they're well, not really kind of, paying. That's, kind of, that, that's, <coughs> Jeff, that's Jeff Berwick and um, Adam Kokesh on Steam. It. If somebody votes for, for your Wales. video, does it get imposed on anybody else? No. Are they are, are they forced to are they forced to pay it for it? They're not forced are, to pay for it, but are they forced to pay? Are, are they forced to pay for the wall around your video? Um, uh, sort of, because it pushes that to the front. Pushes their content to the front, right? And it drowns Effective out everybody making else. Making it harder for for smaller things to become more relevant, and it just becomes whales, right? But that's kind of. Actually, this is kind of a segue into the last topic of the show, which is it's not it's not really about Jordan Peterson. He's like the Lou. Do you know anything about Jordan Peterson? Not really. Oh, I, I I know that he's <laughs> I know that he's the big thing now, and I saw yeah. the segment that turned into the lobster meme. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Kathy Newman. And so what's that's, that, that's about all I know about him. Uh, along with uh, he kind of sounds like Kermit the Frog a little bit, but anyway, oh, yes, his yes, entire, he definitely sounds. His entire foundation is built on good and evil and morality. It's kind of yeah, scary. I don't. I kind of don't agree with you there. I don't think that's his entire foundation. His foundation, he he believes Shut which. It. I'm not see well actually I'm I'm not I'm I'm not necessarily looking to have like okay what what is it about Jordan Peterson is he right is he wrong uh, <coughs> he's an objective moralist and he, yeah he is trying to um, find the objective standard for morality I agree with that but yeah. he is his his foundation he doesn't think there can be productive conversation outside that realm. Yeah, I wouldn't say that he believes that. I would say that he believes it's less you know, it's significantly less likely. Him and Shapiro. Oh gosh, they, that was a terrible show. That was those two going off, back and forth. That was that was bad. That was one of the worst shows. One of the worst videos. I saw a video by him recently that was really kind of why I like this guy. And I don't love this guy. I don't watch Jordan Peterson videos all the time, although I highly recommend his Maps of Meaning lecture series. That's that that was that's very good. And Maps of Meaning, Maps of what I like about Jordan Peterson when he's talking about theory, when he's talking about like the core of well, Maps of Meaning, like how do we form the meaning that we form? I don't when I listen to that lecture series, I, I, I probably agree with 80% of it. But the 80% I agree with, I was like, yeah, this is good stuff. And then the problem with him is he always goes from, you know, he gives you an interesting idea, and then he starts to talk about it in terms of certainty. And that's where he loses me. I don't think he has any ground to stand on in certainty. There's, uh, I mean, he's got provocative thoughts, and I think he would tell you none of his thoughts are his. He's like he's rehashing Jung and uh, Nietzsche and uh, a number of these other, you know, psychoanalysts and uh, you know, twentieth century legends that he's kind of digging back up. And I, I think he's got some interesting things to say. But what I really like about him is he does strike me as someone who, 
you know, like what you said, their heart's in the right place. This guy really is trying to do the best that he can. Yeah. And he just, uh, he was talking, uh, I forget, it was a, an Australian show. and Maybe it was an Australian show, I'm not sure which. But he was talk- they were talking about the roller coaster ride that he's on. And he says, you know, I know I'm riding, I'm riding on a wave. I'm riding on like a 30-foot wave. And he said, you know, I know at some point it's, it's, yeah. it's highly probable that I'm going to crash and I'm going to drown. Something's going to happen that's going to sabotage what I'm doing. He says, you know, oh. I try my best not to say the wrong thing, but I know I'm going to. But it was just this weird moment of humanity that you don't often see from folks. Like, he gives you this weird insight into what it's like to be in that crucible, to have that much attention put on you. But the guy is flawed. He's not, I, I mean, I'm not going to say he's the world's smartest man. Even though Stephen Hawking's dead, I'm not going to say he's the world's smartest man. He's not, he's not the genius of geniuses. I, I, I don't think there is a world's smartest. No, man. I'm being facetious. Okay, I don't believe in the world's smartest man. Just so, you know. I don't either. No, unless it's me. What? Uh, unless it's me, I'm well, the world's smartest man. I actually, I myself, along with you, Bodie, it's kind of close. Yeah, right? you and yourself, me and myself. Right, right, Lou. Would you and yourself say that? Can I say you and yourself? You okay? No, you can't. Is, he's, he's, he's freaking out, man. Somebody get him some Viagra. <laughs> so, but what I see with what what I thought about with Jordan Peterson was we all know about the great man, right? Yes. But what was the eye roll for, Bodie? Nothing. Keep going. No, no, no. Give me the eye roll explanation. I want to hear your eye roll. The, the great man. Yeah. Yeah. The the great man fallacy, you know, that people fall into this. They create a great man and they make this person infallible and they become a terror worship, to this. idolatry. Great man. I thought you said grape man. What is the grape man? I that's, didn't know. That's, that's Dick Butt Man's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, I just that that was the best part of the show for Bodie right there. There's that nothing was. else that's yeah. Thursday nights have that. really slid downhill, haven't they? Well, no. we we let the ghetto in. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's Thursday nights, but it's an is daily Tuesday. See that? Yeah. So that's Bodie. The you, you, your visa has expired. You're gonna have to leave soon. <laughs> no, actually, I I I think that you know what I would love to see sometime soon. Seriously, if you guys could do this. I would love to see a Bodhi, like if, if you could do a show with Bodhi, just you and Bodhi. I think that would be a pretty cool show. Yeah, I'd well, watch. We should look into it. I'd watch. We, you'd probably like it better than, never mind. Oh, oh, but don't steal low from me, though. That's uh, not right. You, you mean I'd like it better than doing it with that other guy, Paul? <laughs> That's you no, know, I and not. myself are upset. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to. I have to say, I, I really do enjoy doing shows with Paul. The one that we did on the Freedom Fiends, uh, I enjoyed that. I think we got some good responses to it. That's I good have show. to watch it or listen to it. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't even listen to it yet, dude. Neither dude. have I. So I listened to it. I listened to it twice. And I don't usually listen to my shows, but I listen to it twice. Well, I really was only going to listen to it once. The only wait, reason wait, I listened to wait, it wait, a second. Wait. What? You don't usually listen to your shows? I don't. I, there, I, I have a hard time listening huge, to my shows. That is a huge problem. Why? You should listen to your show sometime. I do. I just don't listen uh, to them all the time. I, I, uh, I, I have regular intervals where I listen just to check on things. Oh, I don't okay. I don't not listen at all. I just actually, you know, the show that I like listening to the most by me, but I think it's only because it's just short. It's the twenty minutes headlines you may have missed. I think that's short. the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> you outside outside of Thursday nights. <laughs> outside, outside of Thursday, Thursday nights. nights, right. Well, well yeah, and of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. But back to Jordan Peterson. I don't I don't really care so much about Jordan Peterson. But but he, to me, serves as this an example where 
what I'm seeing is, okay, he's been put on this pedestal, and now there are some people that are keeping him there that if you offer any criticism of the guy, they will lose their stuff, their proverbials. Yeah, they're like Trumpians. They're, yeah, they they're are. like the Trumpster fires. You don't the challenge the great man, right? It's it's the same thing as the Hoppians. It's the same thing as... All the great man yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, victims, I have a group fires, of Gordonians. Clintonistas. I have a group of Burn. Gordonians <laughs> that, that do this. Actually, I don't. There are no Gordonians out there. Sorry. Yeah, there no. are. No, there's if no someone, Gordonians. If someone talks shit about you, I'll jump on them in a heartbeat. Yeah, but that's yeah, a the, friend thing. There's that's some great Gordonians out there the eating their Tide Pods and protesting against guns and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, but that's a friend thing. That's not a that's not a great man thing. You're not a great man to me, and I'm not a great man to you. I or myself, for that matter. Absolutely not. Lou, this is going to be a fun thing. I can't wait. I can't actually wait. It, I mean, I'm enjoying the show. I'm enjoying doing the show now that we've actually got it started and we got through the audio hell. But uh, I can't wait for the show to end because uh, I am going to be rushing for the memes. And uh, I see Lou memes in the future. I see, I see, I see Lou making statements that, uh, <laughs> yes, I see things. I see. What, what are they called again? Re, what are they called? I see dead people. No, what kind of pronouns? What are they called? Reflexive. I see reflexive pronouns. Yes, and I see them using, I see them, I see them used inappropriately by Lou and memes. Yes. <laughs> anyway. But I see the other side of this, which is people want to knock him off the pedestal. And so there's this 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 hyped up reaction to this guy that, uh, oh, he's just a total idiot. He's a moron. He's uh, he's the he's the poor man's intellectual. I mean, this guy's an intellectual. I mean, how high on the scale of intellectuals? I don't know. But he's a freaking intellectual. If he's, he's not an intellectual. Of What's that? Yeah, he's probably got an IQ of two hundred. Yeah, yeah, he 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 probably he would probably make a video about immigrants and end it with pick one, something like that. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> I can't say anything more than that. But anyway, so I thought I think that there's this other and and he actually holds power. I think that it. Uh, I'm calling it. I mean, it's just that he's he's the boogeyman. I think the boogeyman has almost as much power over your critical thinking as the the great man does. You're, you're, honestly, I have. Uh, I'm gonna say there's very few. I don't know if I could say this. There's not a lot. It's not a high percentage of people that I could say that if I listened to them long enough, I couldn't learn something interesting from them. And Jordan Peterson, yeah, there's there's stuff there that. I think I won't say everyone. I think, but I'm just saying that uh, there's a number of folks that have decided to just trash Jordan Peterson to say that you know he's a what do you call uh, he's a bigot because you know he won't use the pronouns. Uh, these are the uh, the gender pronouns, uh, and I don't know. I I I think that the boogeyman can cut off your critical thinking. And lead you, you you give him power when you when you elevate him to this status of horrible, and he he kind of gets in your head. You guys with me on this? Like, what are you thinking? Yeah. Well, if you make the boogeyman a boogeyman, then you're focusing on him and not focusing on what you want or or what your your actual goal is it's a distraction all boogeymen are distractions yeah i think so lou am Pretty i on much, something yeah. or on my own crack mm -hmm. oh you didn't hear me lou am i on to something no. am i on to something or am i on crack why not both that's that's a possibility that's that's absolutely. So what do you think? It's both? Wow. Hmm? 
I said, I said, what do you, what the heck just happened here? Did you guys just fall down a flight of stairs? And I'm still seeing your images, but you guys have both fallen down a flight of stairs, and you're like, can't get to the microphone. Actually, you're like popping in and out a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, we're missing words. Oh, how am I now? It's still the same. It's been like that most of the show. Are you kidding me? No. And you've been a little low. It's been a little hard to hear you. Wow. This has been a... This is <laughs> like the, the audio Nazis are going to come and stomp us out. And that's the end. Bad audio is a hate crime. Right. Right. Yeah. This And and actually, it's it's the end of the show, isn't it? It's 10.02. I think so. it's yeah. 10.02. Yeah, it's the end of the show. I actually have to go and try and edit a video tonight. I need to get some sleep. Paying job. I've been, I've been up pretty Mr. late. Mr. Sander has to sleep, and Bodie. I've been up since five. Oh my yeah. gosh, you've been up since five in the morning. Oh. oh. I had to get high this morning, man. Oh, okay. Did you say yeah, you had to get high this morning? No, I had BNI. I'm oh, BNI. That's uh, his. Is this networking group? Yeah, it's pretty cool. If I lived actually, near you, I would go you, with you. Getting high sounds funner. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, probably. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. If I lived near you, I'd probably go to BNI with you. I'd be your BNI yeah. buddy. You should be. You should come. You, you can find a local chapter. Oh, really? Yeah, they're huh. everywhere. I'll Business into Networking it. International. Oh, I'll look into it. All yeah, right. On that note, it. anybody have anything else to say before? Uh, I'm. I tried to record this. I don't know. I that parts of this show is actually going to be recorded. Everything sounds fine on my end. I don't sound crackly or anything. We'll see what I sound like in my video version. Uh, fine. Yeah, my, we'll my video version on YouTube will be about 40 minutes long because I think the first 20 minutes are hosed. So, uh, on that note, uh, there's no show tomorrow for anything. There's no headlines you may have missed. There's no is dailies. Nope. Uh, there is is daily Monday next week, and I do want to let everybody know that, uh, and I, I've let you guys know, April first through the April eighth, I am doing one of my. You know, you got you, Bodie. You've been through these things a couple times. You know when I check I for, out, I'm gonna message you every day. That, as <laughs> that's what you Tuesday. always do. You've been through it a couple times. And you're like, hey, hey, we doing the show tonight? I'm like, dude, <laughs> I told you like three weeks ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you everybody for uh, joining the show live and Bodie. Well, actually, if you weren't here, well, I don't know. Maybe I would have figured it out if Lou wasn't. It, I would have. I don't know what happened. Every, I actually tested it. I did a little recording. And do you think there's a problem with having a third person on? I'm Maybe. not sure. Maybe. Maybe. But I don't he, know how that would mess up the audio. Me and Lou are probably coming through the same feed. That might be. Because I've never done, I haven't done a three-person show yet. Oh, you made two, you made two things, one for me, one for Lou, right? No. Oh, you didn't? No. We're in the same channel? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Why? Do you think that's a problem? I was thinking maybe my echo was his, I thought maybe you duplicated the, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, the problem was that I could not get the audio to show up in Facebook. Oh, even okay. though I had done the test with you, I got you. Remember, I had problems getting you monitoring out. and I finally got mm-hmm. you to show up. Everything worked fine. And then Lou showed up and then we get ready to do the Ruined show. It. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You know, I have to say you, uh, Lou and, and myself, uh, we, we soldiered through. We did it. We I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, Your audio you, went out. Can you hear me now? I think. No, I, I think. <laughs> say say that phrase again. What was what was it that you said? Can you hear me, myself? Me and myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys gonna talk? <laughs> I can't. I can't hear you. Uh, and on that He's note, all right, it, it, it looks like the connection is gone. So I, I think this would be a good time <laughs> to end it. Yep. On that note, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.